Right, one of the viewers, I, um, Mr. Mushroom, I call him Mr. Mushroom, I put that off on the screen anyway. Um, I think I put it in the last video, or the video before that. So, he was saying about, um, is it spreading? The, the RPR. Well, since we turfed up the lawn, It is, I don't know if you can see this, I can just about to see it on, on the camera. It's, I might have to put you in the shade actually, because I think I'm not going to be able to, no, you're not going to see it because it's too bright. And this wheelbarrow is knackered, so it's pretty well over here. Right, I found some good examples. Right. Look on here. Look see the berry. Right, this is all the old roots, i.e. when it was in the ground. Brown, yeah? Don't know if you can see it. Just turn it this way so I can see it better. So you see all the brown. So that's all the roots. Now, since, I don't know about the bug, since it's been cut, it started shooting off new roots. So, don't forget this is the RPR. Now, that's quite a good piece to show you now. Show you this piece here. So this is all new roots coming down, as you can see. So you won't think that my my soil will be quite heavy clay still after four years of putting down what I have put down and all the so. I'm just ripping all this off so it's easier to show you. So, so you can see all these. Yeah, it's good focus, that is. Quite a cheap focus, it's only 120 quid. On, e on Amazon and you can get it on eBay. If on Amazon, it's under 12. But when on Amazon, they, only, they don't do the 512. Now, I see. What's that there? First grub. There. First baby grub. Come on, focus. Maybe focus from there. Let's change the background. So uh, there you go. Wait, can you see it? Now I am not sure, but I reckon that'll be a grub, a baby grub. I doubt it'll be a worm.
I'll see how close I can get it. Oh, and it's moving, look. need is a picture of that. So I don't know if my phone would do it as I'm doing it. But it did. That was good. Right, so So guess what? We'll kill that one. If I can my There. Why I've killed it is in the uh right so we're back here. So I'm just looking to see if there's any more in here. Well, there's one. There's thousands. We've got loads of red ants. We know that anyway, because there's red ants in the lawn. Which I was sorted out. Well, there's no one there, look. Can you see it where my thumb is? There's one there as well. There's another one there. There's another one there. Another one there. Another one there. There's a few there. We've got loads of red ants, as you can see. So that one can go back in the lawn. Now, but that wasn't what I was showing you. I was showing you the, the um, the roots. But now I know I should do a heavy molasses on it. Focus, good. Because I've been using molasses for the last three years and I've seen quite a lot but not it has helped because I don't like the sugars so and I've also got um, oh, I can't pronounce it if I can remember I plop on the screen I've probably got some indoors actually I can probably chuck some on this kill the red ants and it'll kill them when they start munching but look there's a root right, this is a good example on this one here look as you can see here this was in one of the trays I've, I've done the other day. So, uh, with the leftovers, there's a fair few eggs in here. So, really, what I could do really is don't bother using this. But I know. As you can see, it's quite, you know what I mean, it's not falling apart, so you know it's, it's breaking there because I'm pushing it apart between my hands. There you go. So, yes, we've got a bit of weed grasses in here, but, come on screen. But 
but we have got growth new new shoots shooting off so this is what's probably happening in Caroline's lawn as we speak so Piece, well, this piece off the ground, off, off the, the lawn I took off today. Now, even on here, you can see we've got loads of roots coming off. Look, look at that. Now, I could probably pull that. We can do it now. This may not be now. Can you tell me about the weed? Comment down below. Hold it in the there so you can see. But look at the root mass, extra roots growing already. I reckon if I put that in water, which I'm going to do now because there's I've got a birth bath right next to me. So, what are my stalkers looking out the window today? Or looking through CCTV? Because that's what he's been told to do look through CCTV at me, not physically look at me. If you can hear my music, I'm sorry, but I'm listening to James Arthur. Now, I'm trying to see if this is more than one plant or not, but it looks like when you that just broke off in my hand. And I think the rest is quite... Focus, thank you very much. This camera is not bad actually, it's only a cheapie. It's U UF line, I think it's called. Or F L U line, I can't remember. I'll put it up on the screen anyway. I bought it because my other phone was playing up, but then of course I didn't whack across all the apps. I was able to add all my apps on this one and all my passwords and all that, but I didn't bother doing it. So we've got good interesting for that I think. If you want to see more of this let me know and I can always do it. It's quite interesting I think. I find it quite interesting. So it's that same when I do my um, weeding videos. I find them quite interesting. Because I'm, I'm only an amateur at the end, at the end I'm only a DIY. I'm not sure what's what at the time. If I'm pulling out our, um, the right grass or weeds half the time, so I'll just rip out. If it's got a head on it, if it's got some. If it's got some um, seeds on it, I normally um, rip it up. So I've got to find some, I think I've got some indoors. I'm not sure where I got it, but I shall have a look. I've got a few eggs. Can you see that? 
Now, if Carmine's lawn gets um, invested, infested with these buggers, then um, I'm hoping the Creeping Right and the RPR and the Tool Fescue that's been added to it will hopefully keep it at bay or keep it to a level that we don't really get a bad kill off. Now, we much root mass on there, apart from the old root mass. You can see down through here. Down through here you can. And you can see a little bit there. But, let's see if I can pull out one of these here. Take a screenshot of that a minute if I can, if I get my phone dirty. Yeah, I think I did. I did the same with this one, I think. So, that's a 35 minute video so far. Oh, God, that's a fruity. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go indoors so I can find some of that. It, it, it gives me a D, it's a really long word. This is a miscellaneous or something it's called. Hi, Jay. Um, so we will get back to you in a sec. For me, for you, it'll be a sec. For me, it'll be a couple of minutes. But right, it's been about twenty minutes. So for you, it was not even a second. Right, so um, I couldn't find it. So I know Cowan's got some over in her shed because when we cleared out her um, tool shed the other day, we found some. Um, I think I'll put it in the garden shed. So I'll find that out the weekend. Um, I'll put it up on the screen anyway. Actually, I can always go and get my phone and then show you on my phone. Because what I can do is. on the phone and then that'll remind me to put the picture up on the phone right so I'll find it on here I'll pause you and I'll be back a sec right I found it so here it is here Do a screen record on my phone and then that way I'll do it that way so I'm gonna pause you here and I'll add this in right you're not gonna see this but I'm gonna put it I'm gonna speak now but I'm gonna show it on my phone but I'll over do it so as you can see on here it does fleas dust mites bed bugs ants and red mites so um, and it, you know fleas of course and you can get it in all forms you can get it in bowl um, now I prefer it in granule but in granule it's quite hard to find in granule so I couldn't see it in granules the other day, but it's, that's powder. Let's 
falls in the light. Music. But you can hear that. I don't want to get. So. Just pause that a minute and then go on to eBay. And type it in there. find it in granule form be looking for about 20 minutes I looked everywhere so um, what I would say if you do use the, the um, powder wear a mask PPE because it will itch if you suffer with psoriasis like Caroline does and I, and I do but not as bad as Caroline anymore ain't too bad on me but um, when I spilt some on her last year it might be this year actually when done my lawn no it was really good lawn and um, I got on there and it flared up her psoriasis so I will put a disclaimer up here um, wear your PPE um, and don't use it on a, on a windy day of course of course that's you know that's not rocket science is it so um so, yeah, I would, if you can get it in granule form, buy it in granule form, because then it'd be easier to spread it. You can spray it in your, um, in broadcast spreader then. And then, there was on e on eBay, a bloke selling the stuff from America, which I don't think he sells it anymore. He bought too much, but I've got a bag indoors. Um... Which didn't really, I don't, I didn't really think it worked. Um, but then again, well, I did have some last year and early this year, sorry, and I didn't have much of an impact on mine, so I wasn't too bad. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm offering, and um, I need to go and get the cover. I'm going to get the cover, and then I'll add it to the end of this or end of the while well, I was doing the um, thingy. So. I should get back to you in a minute. Happy days.